What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia Torado with Leave Johnson Ford, but today you can just use my call sign, Torado, because we're gonna be going over the 2022 Ford Maverick. So stick around. This is the new Ford Maverick. And it's not an ugly truck, is it? The overall shape reminds me of the notorious F-150, only smaller. This isn't one of those trucks that you would see with a 12 inch lift and American Force wheels. No, this is one of those trucks that you see in crowded cities that screams practicality and fuel efficiency. It's the smallest, lightest, and most fuel efficient truck in the Ford lineup. Now Maverick comes in three trims, XL, XLT, and Lariat. And today I have an XLT trim with a 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine and front wheel drive. Speaking of engine, let's talk about that. Now the two options for the Ford Maverick's engine include a 2.5 liter hybrid that produces 191 horsepower, that's front wheel drive, or the 2.0 liter EcoBoost that produces 250 horsepower that comes in either front wheel drive or all wheel drive. Our model today is front wheel drive. <laughs> and 60. <laughs> That's a surprisingly zippy. Uh, but again, the Maverick isn't a full size truck, so it's pretty light. Uh, so you can definitely feel all two liters of the EcoBoost motor uh, putting in work. But again, the purpose of this truck isn't high horsepower or torque numbers, it's fuel efficiency and practicality. Fuel efficiency, the 2.5 liter hybrid Maverick gets an EPA estimated 42 miles per gallon. The 2.0 liter EcoBoost Maverick gets an EPA estimated 23 miles per gallon in the city and 30 miles per gallon on the highway. Now I know you guys saw me put it in sport mode before I did that launch. I'll admit I did a little bit of brake boosting as well, but when you put it in sport mode, it holds a lower gear a little longer. So if you leave it in sport mode and you're in a little bit of traffic, and you give it gas, it's very sensitive. So just be aware of that. You can put it back down to normal mode or even the eco mode. The eco mode feels a little sluggish to me. I think the normal mode is the best way to drive it, unless you're trying to get after it, like I just did by giving it the beans. <laughs> it's surprisingly quick. <laughs> I wanna know how it feels with the all wheel drive model. <laughs> oh man, this little truck is pretty fun <laughs> in sport mode. Uh, all right, so now that we've had our fun and we've done a couple acceleration tests, let's take a moment and look at the styling. Now, one quick look at the Maverick and we can see why it's so appealing. Visually, it's very aesthetic for a compact truck and it has some styling cues that look like they came directly from its big brother, the F-150 with the aggressive hood and the fender badging with the vents. Another fun fact about the Maverick is that it's unibody and it's not body on frame like a traditional pickup truck, which is why you don't see the separation line between the bed and the cab of the truck, which I think gives it a more sporty and streamlined look. Now you're also gonna notice that the bed plastics actually run up onto the cab of the truck. That's so if you're loading anything, you don't have to worry about scratching the cab. Now as we make our way to the very back of the Maverick, I really like how the Maverick nameplate is indented into the tailgate of the truck. And you'll notice that the license plate is actually offset rather than being in the middle. And that's because the Maverick has a hideaway plate right here. So you can actually attach a hitch and tow. Certain models can tow up to 4,000 pounds. The bed of the Maverick is a standard four and a half feet on all models. But if you put the tailgate down, you get about an extra two feet and there's plenty of tie downs built into the side of the Maverick so you can secure your load. So now that we've wrapped up, the exterior of the Maverick. Let's go ahead and check out the interior, or should I say, the cockpit. Now the interior of the Ford Maverick is comfortable, as long as you're the one driving. 
or in the passenger seat. I'm six foot two and I'm in a comfortable driving position and I have plenty of room for myself and I still have a little room to push the seat back as you can see, but I don't need all that leg space. But I doubt that anybody can actually fit behind me, so that's kind of a downfall. Now, Maverick is small, but Ford utilized every inch of this truck like an Ikea catalog to make sure you had plenty of storage. As you can see, you could fit up to a one liter bottle in the door panels and they fit perfectly. Now, aside from the spacious door panels, there's plenty of room in the center console as well. You have a wireless charging pad and another pad to hold your cell phone upright. You have two cup holders and then a cubby behind that where you can see my spare keys and yet another cubby behind that. Now in the actual center console, it's big enough to store, yep, another one liter bottle with plenty of room for other things. Now the back seat does flip up and actually shows even more storage. And as you can see, I've got my lunchbox back there and some of my camera equipment. Now as for technology, you get an eight inch touchscreen infotainment system that's called a connected touch radio that has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. All you have to do is simply connect your device via USB-C or USB cable and voila, you have your music and your text messages and even your maps ready to go. Now I know there's a lot of concern revolving around how you can order and receive your Maverick. So I'm gonna call in an expert so I can get some answers. Hey Brian. Sorry I'm late. No problem. <laughs> Had a long flight. How are you doing today? Doing good. Would like you like? You? Good. Would you like a... Shouldn't really, but I will. Okay. So this is Andy McCready. He is the digital sales manager for one of the dealerships within our family at Leap Johnson Ford, and he is our expert on the Maverick. So Andy, one of the first questions that the internet keeps asking is, if I wanted to order a Maverick, when can I do that? Um, well, the order bank was supposed to open on the 2nd of, uh, of this month, of August, uh, and Ford have pushed that back until September. Um, we don't have an exact date for the, for the opening yet, uh, but obviously Ford will announce that in due course. We are taking pre-orders at the moment, uh, so what that means is you can build it out via our website, um, and then basically um, we'll put it together to one side, get everything we need in advance, and uh, the day that the order banks open up, We'll get your order placed and you're good to go. Okay, so if I do decide to build my Maverick and place an order with Lee Johnson Ford, are we still paying MSRP for that? MSRP. All bills that uh, Lee Johnson Ford are doing are at MSRP. No dealer markup, no ads, nothing else. Cool. So I know there's a lot of rumors on the internet, one of those being the timelines, um, because we are rolling into 2023 with those order banks opening up. Can you clarify some of those rumors about the 22 model rolling to 23? Yeah, I think it's um, it's almost certain at this point that there are going to be a lot of orders that were made in 22 that are going to carry over to 23. Um, Ford will be offering um, those customers the, uh, the the ability to transfer to a 23, and there will be some compensation, some offers to them to deal with the, the increased costs, because the 23 model is almost certainly going to cost more than the 22. And we saw the same thing happen with the Lightning where some customers are getting an invitation for the 23 model that wanted to wait for the pro model, the Lariat, so on and so yeah. forth. It's, it's just, you know, the industry in general is facing these, um, you know, these problems at the moment. Um, you know, at some point we'll get out the other side of it and, you know, it'll be back to normal. Uh, but that's probably still a little ways away yet. Awesome. Well, there you go, guys. You heard it from mm -hmm. one of our very own experts. Andy, I appreciate your time. Thanks, Brian. Wisdom, coffee, and your... This coffee cookies. Perfect. So I got a long flight ahead of me, so I'm headed back out. You do that. Thank, Thank you, sir. Buddy. We'll see you. Now, you didn't think I was going to do a video without at least one poof, did you? So, my final thoughts on the 2022 Ford Maverick. Overall, the 2022 Maverick is a great truck for the person that it fits their lifestyle. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that it's a compact truck, it's fuel efficient, and it's super easy to drive, and it's got plenty of power, albeit it's not a lot. It's a small truck and it goes when you definitely want it to. Now in really tight cities like Austin, Texas, I think this truck is gonna be an absolute seller. 
I say that because you got to look at uh, shopping spaces, parking situations, or when you go into a parking garage, they can be really cramped. And I don't know if you've ever tried parking a full-size truck in a packed parking garage. It can get pretty dicey. Let's say you go to Ikea and your Ford Focus, you buy all this furniture, and then you can't fit it into your Ford Focus. Well, this truck fixes that problem. Ford Focus is fuel efficient. Maverick is fuel efficient. Ford Focus doesn't have the space. Maverick has a four and a half foot bed. So it has the utility that somebody that's looking for a fuel efficient vehicle definitely has. Well, all right, guys, I gotta go back to home base. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a comment below, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, or check out one of these two videos. Until next time, guys, peace out.